Hello kids, good morning. Uh, let's see, where are we today on Courage to Change, May 12th. Ready, let's go. There are many times when I doubt the existence of anything that cares about what, wait, I don't get this one, hold on. I don't read them before and think about what I'm gonna say, I read them with you. So, there are many times when I doubt the existence of anything that cares about what is going on in this world, let alone in my life. Being agnostic, doubt comes easily to me. Belief is difficult. But then I think of how someone guided me to Al-Anon when my life was at its darkest. I reflect on times when the words and music of certain songs have given me courage to go on with life when it might have been easier to give up. I remember that I am encouraged by the honesty of people who share their innermost thoughts in Al-Anon meetings week after week, year after year. I'm aware that deep down there is a part of me that wants what is good for me, that pushes me to seek happiness, direction, and wholeness in my life, and I doubt my doubts. When I, today's reminder, when I feel far away from a higher power, I have to listen very carefully. I listen at meetings, I listen at music, I listen to music, I listen to the wisdom that comes through our literature and I try to be open to what I hear. I never know from what, from where a message will come. Hmm, that's a good reading. You know, Gandhi says something like that. Uh, he who does not see God in the next person he meets need look no further. And I think of that often when I see a homeless person or someone that's hurting, something that's, you know, that sometimes, the message comes from the most unexpected places, but I have to be open-minded. But I really like this, you know, I'm not an agnostic. I believe in the power greater than myself. It morphs and changes. It doesn't stay the same. So if you ask me one day what it is, I'll explain it to you. And the next day it'll be something different. Um, I try not to think about it too much because my mind starts screwing with me. So I just let it evolve and change as I evolve and change. But I really know there was two things that came to my mind with this. Um, okay, first thing is I can look back on my life and see a thread of if I wouldn't have met this person, I wouldn't have met this person. If I wouldn't have gone here and moved to the Caribbean, then I wouldn't have met this person, gone here, and then I wouldn't have, my parents weren't in California. I'd never made it to the Palm Desert right? Which means I never would have met, you know, uh, him and had my daughter and da, 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 and then this, and then this, you know, and this person knows this, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a thread that's kind of weaved through my life that makes me think I couldn't have orchestrated any of that. Like, how did that happen? Right? So that's one thing that really gets me to believe in God. And let's see. I can also see changes in other people. I don't see them so much in myself, but one of the things I like about going to Al-Anon meetings is you can see someone come in for the first time and then you can see them in two months, a month, 30 days, even a week. And you can see the drastic change in their life and their, their, their outlook on life. You know what I mean? Maybe things haven't changed in the, in the actual physical form, but you can see it in their perception. Does that make sense? You know, also someone told me in the beginning, you know, uh, a great way, it wasn't, I don't think they told me, how did I, a great way to come up with a power greater than yourself. We were taking someone through the steps and the person didn't believe they were an atheist. And the gentleman I was with said to the person, have you ever had a warm feeling for a friend? Have you ever had that? feeling about a friend, a friendship that you have, maybe from childhood or a long-term friendship. You know that warm feeling you get? And the woman said, yes. And he said, maybe that's God. So I think you can find a lot of things to grab onto and, um, and just be open-minded and let it change if it wants to. It can change and morph. When you first come to Al-Anon, you might just believe in the group of Al-Anon. That could be your higher power or believe that we all believe, right? So uh, it doesn't take a lot of, you know, oh, just, it needs just a little crack, like a little crack, like you know how a cockroach will squeeze through a little crack? That much open-mindedness on this subject will help you 
and you will be able to develop your own power greater than yourself that can restore you to sanity and help you with your life. Um, so, you know, I like that. It's a broad open highway. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.